Hi, my name is Maz. In this video, I'll show you how to load a sound bank using a trigger. And to show you how to do this in a game, I'll use the Wise Adventure game and the scene called Loading Sound Banks Using Triggers, which is from the Wise 301 certification. To access that scene, you can go to the audio generic menu, certification, 301, lesson 3, and loading sound banks using triggers. Once you do that, the camera will automatically adjust to looking at the woodland scene. And this is where we'll make a trigger and then load a sound bank from that trigger. You can also click the waterfall game object and click F with a mouse inside the scene view. And then you are positioned inside the woodlands. So let's make a trigger. So looking at the woodland scene, which is reaching from the bridge and until the end of the trees here, then a sphere would not really be a good choice here, but something like a cube would probably be better to define the edge of the bridge here onto the pine forest. So looking at the woodlands, you can right click in the hierarchy, choose 3D object and choose cube. And if you bring it a bit up with the mouse inside the scene view, press F, you'll see a small cube. This game object has a box collider. This collider defines the physical shape of this object in the game. If you go into the box collider and increase the size, You'll notice that the box collider is not relative to how the cube looks. The box collider is only used to define the physical shape. So let's fit this cube to the woodlands region. But instead of using the collider's relative size, let's set that back to one and use the transform instead. And then we'll use the looks of the game object as a visualization of when we are entering this trigger. So go into the project view and search for trigger red and drag that material onto the cube. And notice how it's now transparent and you can now fit it to the woodlands region. So zoom a bit out and use the scale tool to increase it in different directions and use the move tool to place it somewhere in the middle of the woodlands. It's okay that the collider goes into some of the other regions like the pine forest here, but make sure that the collider is not too far into the village so try to aim for somewhere in the middle of the bridge. Just for convenience in the hierarchy, let's rename the cube to Woodlands Trigger and let's try it out. So what you might notice is that you cannot go across the bridge right now. You cannot enter the woodlands. And that's because the box collider is currently not a trigger. It's just a collider. So it will try to keep all other colliders from entering. But to convert a collider into a trigger, you simply go to the collider and enable is trigger. So now the player is able to enter the trigger. So what we want to do with this trigger is load a sound bank. So with the woodlands trigger selected in the hierarchy, go to the inspector and click add component and then search for AK bank and press enter. So first off, let's select the sound bank. So go to the bank name, go to banks, default work unit, region and choose woodlands. What the AK bank will do right now is it will load the sound bank in start, but that is not what we want, we want it to load once the player enters this trigger. So start by taking off that start option and go to the AK trigger enter. This option is triggered whenever something enters the trigger on that same game object. And in this case, it's the box collider. But in the woodlands, there's a lot of colliders. So to make sure that it is only the listener that will actually load the sound bank once entering this collider, you need to specify that game object. And you can do that using the AK trigger enter script. So click add component, write AK trigger enter and press enter. And here you'll get the trigger object property where you can simply drop the listener into. And in the wise adventure game, the listener is on the main camera. So drag the main camera from the hierarchy into the trigger object property. And this is it. So let's try it out while also profiling the game to see if the sound bank is actually loaded. So in WISE we connect to the game, but let's just remove the WISE interface and just use the advanced profiler. So drag out the advanced profiler. Yes. And just hide the rest of the WISE interface. And in the advanced profiler, you can go into memory. Now, not a lot of things is happening because we haven't started the game yet. So go into the top and press play. So start by running up to the trigger and look inside wise. You notice that the woodland sound bank is not yet loaded. But if you then rotate the camera into the collider and look again in wise, you notice that the woodland sound bank has now been loaded. So now you are loading the sound bank whenever you are entering the trigger. But a last detail is also to unload the sound bank once you exit the trigger. So to make sure the sound bank is unloaded, once you exit the trigger, 
you can use the AK trigger exit. So go to the unload on property and select the AK trigger exit and make sure the destroy option is not selected. And like before, you can simply write AK trigger exit and then add the main camera into that property as well. Now, when the main camera is exiting that trigger, the sound bank will again unload. So let's try it out and run to the trigger. Notice that there's no woodland sound bank inside the profiler. Then go into the game and turn the camera into the woodlands trigger. And you'll see that the woodland sound bank is getting loaded. And for the last condition, take the main camera and rotate it out of the trigger again. And you'll see that the woodland sound bank has disappeared. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.